Hello once again everyone! Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us Episode 4! As that released yesterday and we're gonna start today, um, which is Wednesday. If you can be recording in one big lot today kinda deal. Um and I just paused there if you was wondering if it still was recording because it sometimes cuts in the black screens uh, floating kind of deal but I'll make it work in post but yeah so doing big luck of recording I would really upload two videos a day but with my internet at the moment as it is it's not um, good enough to upload two videos a day because it's taken a while to um, Upload the current video on which I'm I'm loading, which is uh, Dark Siders Part Six. So Dark Siders will probably return it in a couple of days. Like I think I can use it, split this up into like um, three videos usually, because it's about an hour and a half to two hours uh, of content here. Um, so it'll be like three videos. Thanks deal. for me last time too. This is it being at the sink for Big it likes a bit and how could you do this to me? Sometimes I guess I finally see you for who you are. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing through this um, episode, finding out what's going to happen. I'm actually glad it came out sooner than I thought it was. I actually got it up, uh, what, um, episode 3 of um, Walking Dead came out like earlier this month, didn't it? Like, barely like two weeks ago probably. A week, two weeks. But you, I'm feeling pretty shit after what happened. What shut the hell? They snapped my arm. He'll be okay, though. He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't get a scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Before you were conscious. What? <coughs> me. There was you were lucky. You found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, 
He can set it himself. This is going to be painful. Very painful. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <sighs> Problem is, we've got to deal with this shit. That's why. But perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work. So stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be down in a moment. Just please give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would. Yeah, pig. Shit the fuck up. There. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and, well, this time. This time is no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. I hear you. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I'm a hard man, don't you worry yeah, about me. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. So, how do you um, feel? There, no, he'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. Probably worse than shit. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out or... or died, I guess. It... Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And what's my heart around me? So, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is over. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? 
The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, now both. those are my two options. I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witch. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other schools. He's a gangster! about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? From the looks of things, it's been going on for quite a while. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just In the city no underground. Doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. I agree with you that. What do you think I mean? I don't know. But it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night? turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. I totally agree with you. How this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Relax, Connor. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the... Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour... Get a glamour? With what money? You think I could work? I don't even have thumbs. You can be a cosman. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Blue beard. Nerissa. Oh, Nerissa? Broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah. yeah, you are a little bloody. Aye, aye, Captain. 
she's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? The rules are the rules. I'll get to make them, not just enforce them. Bullshit. You get favors all the time. I know you do. Yeah. Well, I think I ran out. Definitely out of favors. Can't keep rebuilding this shit. <sighs> hey, you. Oh, that's a slightly shorter intro than usual. But it's important, god damn it. For Wolf Among Us. Episode 4 in sheep's clothing. Damn, we're gonna have to wear some wool! Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been. <laughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. something. You know, it's not too late to talk. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. You have some wise words. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. 
are you? It's my job to look out for people, and not just my friends. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Servient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. Not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, I'm really sorry. I'm just trying to find a way through this. If anyone finds out I came here. It's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell you, don't worry. I'll keep your Thank secret. You. Just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. I'm gonna follow her that advice. Uh, one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. They'll know something. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Like, Who knows? beauty being killed. I have other matters to attend to. That's alright, I can handle this on my own. You look after yourself, Snow. And those matters. Once upon a time. It goes from morning to noon. It's a pretty quick change. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Look what happened. So that's bad.
back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. It must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Yeah, like, so I'm pregnant. Yet, with all the around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. You know, bad guy. All night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodland. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What are you doing here? We don't need to bring him into the seas. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust you. Mm. Of course you do. Talk He's about living in the past. Definitely. One little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I just I spit. Your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Thief! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so should deal with this on our own. Higby's just going to complicate I things. called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. You got to inform me of what shit. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? Posh lifestyle. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. You were like drinking champagne and caviar. Who would we be if we just lived like... Like savages? Like me? Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing a slope? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right that. now, so leave a message in the beef and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Fine. I'm sure you can handle whatever this is on your own. I'll see you later. Please, Bigby. Wait. We've been getting 
horrible phone calls. It's the crooked man's people trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. I'm guessing quite a bit of money. All I care about is with your frivolous lifestyle. Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop her damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. It sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked men. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. This is pretty uh, cool. I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Right here, yeah. You're an honorable man. You shouldn't. But that's the way it is. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. I know. You could have cut back, you know. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Where do you even go? Time's up. <sighs> Let's go to the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. 
tough decision. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm he sure doesn't deserve it. I'll do my best. That was a worth. <laughs> Damn, this music is kicking it right now. I'm going to pause it here, um, end this episode off here, and start the next one right now. So, I'll see you guys next time, where we investigate the butcher shop. Peace out, Girl Scouts.